Hey everybody, welcome to Movie Time. I'm Sean. Some more Marvel news from last week going into this week regarding Guardians of the Galaxy. Last week they picked up Glenn Close to be one of the lead members of the Nova Corps. This week they decided to sign Benicio Del Toro, another great actor. Uh, I'm really excited about this. He's going to bring even more credibility to these comic book movies, or the Guardians of the Galaxy as well, uh, specifically I should say. Uh, I'm really excited about this, he's a really good actor, he's he portrays so much emotion when he acts, he portrays so many different types of character he can do. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I did read a couple things though, a couple, I've heard a couple rumors saying that he could be Thanos. Uh, I don't know what to think about this, seeing that it is Benicio Del Toro, I might want to be able to see him and his acting chops compared to him uh, in latex and uh, makeup. So um, I don't know what to think about that. I don't know if it's true. I don't know how many of you guys have, have heard that as well. Um, let me know in the comments below. So the box office numbers for Thus Weekend came out, and Fast and Furious 6 was still in the number one spot. This is really incredible. Not doesn't happen very often after Mo uh, Memorial Day weekend. So have you, my question is, have you guys seen the Fast and the Furious movies? Have you seen any of them in the series? What did you guys think of number six? Was it the best one in the series? Because as of right now, it has already passed $500 million uh, worldwide, and that's the fastest of movies past $500 million for Universal so far. So it, it really makes me wonder, like, is this the best one in the series? I... Uh, personally, I actually liked number five a little better. This one was a little bigger, a little more out there. I liked five. Um, it was more realistic, but it's still really big and huge. So let me know what you guys think down below. Number two in the box office was Now You See Me. That's a really good surprise. It's, it wasn't, uh, it's not a big blockbuster type movie. And to be number two on the weekend after Memorial Day weekend, that's really cool. It's something, it's something to be uh, happy and proud about. Number three, though, this is the reason why I brought up this topic, is After Earth, with, starring Will Smith and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. So my question to you guys is, because it's a, a blockbuster movie, it opened on Memorial Day weekend, you know, Will Smith, uh, does this mean that the one name person can't bring in a guaranteed uh, a hit into your studio? Does it mean that Will Smith, guys like him, or guys like Tom Cruise are not worth that money? Are they worth the money, but it's not guaranteed that they're going to bring in the money? I mean, are they going to deliver a quality movie or not? Does that matter anymore? Because it seems the way things are going is that the general public, they don't respond to that anymore. They respond to good movies, and they get res respond to good feedback about movies, and it doesn't matter who's in it. Um, it does matter to a certain extent because it's going to get more airplay, obviously, but in the whole scheme of things, I mean, if you get a guy like Will Smith and compare him to somebody as a lesser known, uh, as long as the guy is slightly known, I mean, does that mean he's gonna, he can still pull off the movie the same as Will Smith? I mean, there's lots of things going on here with this. There's lots of uh, questions, lots of, of theories, and so I want to know what you guys think down below. Alright, a couple new trailers I saw this week. One is for Robert De Niro's new movie called The Family. It looks pretty interesting. He look, he is a an old mobster that told that sold out the, the mob and now he's running from them in witness protection. The casting looks good. One of my favorites, Diana Agron, beautiful young woman. Uh, she plays his daughter. I don't know who the son is. And you also have Michelle Pfeiffer. Movie looks pretty cool. I like the casting. It's pretty interesting. Um, it definitely seems like it's going to be a movie for um, for a wide uh, range of audiences. I'm definitely interested in this one. Also, the other movie is an Ethan Hawke movie, uh, Getaway. It looks like it's going to be a more a more dialogue in fused uh, version of the movie Drive starring Ryan Gosling. Now I don't mean it's, it looks like it's going to be a straight rip off of the movie Drive, but it's going to involve a lot of that driving him and behind the wheel of the car and that's going to be one of the main um, main plot points of the whole movie. It looks pretty interesting and, and it is good to see Ethan Hawke back in some movies. So in theaters this week we have three movies I'm very interested in. You got The Internship, you have The Purge, another Ethan Hawke movie, and Much To Do About Nothing. The Internship is starring Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn. It looks pretty interesting. Two guys that are that get fired from their job, get laid off, and they they go to get internship at Google. From what I hear, this this representation of Google in this movie is fairly accurate and it's and the movie plays as a whole love letter to Google. So it seems pretty interesting. I've heard great things about Google in my own personal life about how they run their ship and how they hire and how their employees are treated. It sounds like it's really cool, so I'm looking forward to this one. The next one is The Purge, starring Ethan Hawke. As I said earlier, this is gonna it's good to see Ethan Hawke in some movies now. Um, I remember when he was younger, I always liked him as an actor. The Purge is a movie where in in this in this world, uh, crime is down to next to nothing, uh, you know things like that. It's it's a very peaceful, very very happy place to live in this world. But once a year for 12 hours there are no emergency services. All everything you do is okay. Nobody's going to be arrested. So 
it seems it's, it's really brings some ideas to your mind of what can happen. Are you going to be one that hides? Are you going to be one that goes out there and commits crimes? Are you going to be one to stand up for what's right? What are you going to do? Tell me down below. It just looks really interesting. So I'm really excited about those last two movies. And the third movie is not uh, it's not a big publicized movie, but if you pay attention to Joss Whedon and the Marvel news, you've probably heard about it. It's called Much Ado About Nothing. Um, he whipped this together in a short time period, and he got a lot of his friends to help him out with it. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't think I've seen anything besides little clips here and there. Um, Nathan Fillion, I was in one of the clips, and it was it was actually pretty funny. I couldn't tell if it was being serious or not just because of the voice he was making. It looks pretty interesting, and the fact is that a lot of critics are giving this rave reviews, and what they've seen of it, they like of it so far. So I'm actually pretty interested in this as well because it's an ensemble cast, what Joss Whedon does, and, and, and he usually you know produces pretty good stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Right, last but not least, we got Movie of the Week. This week I watched Conan the Barbarian, the new version with starring Jason Momoa. Now this movie, I was very excited for it when it came out in theater back uh, months ago. Uh, I didn't have a chance to see it, so I put it on my Netflix, I got it in, and I was able to watch it. Now, I had high expectations for this, and to a certain extent, they answered it, and to a certain extent, they just fell flat. Um, to the extent that they answered it is that Jason Momoa did a great job in this movie. I definitely liked him as Conan. I thought he portrayed this character well and he was like a, pretty much he's a badass in there. Um, I think this movie shows and it goes a long way to showing that he can be a badass in movies as well as um, the movie that came out after Conan, Bullet to the Head. He was the villain in there it seemed and he was uh, just going at it with Stallone. You know what I mean? Like It, it shows that he has this range that um, that he's gone from his little old Baywatch days, I remember those days, uh, to uh, to now he's this action dude. He can kick some real butt. So I'm pretty interested in where his career goes from here. He did turn down Guardians of the Galaxy um, months back, um, so I wonder what was up with that. I think he wanted more money than they were possibly going to give him. But Jason Momoa pulled off this character. I really liked that. The rest of the movie as a whole was a little weird. It was a little... It was a little off kilter. You have you have a guy who kills Conan's father, and so Conan wants to kill him, and he grows up and he kill he wants to kill him. Um, but that's not the main part of the story. It's like that is the, that should be the main story. But then they add in all this other stuff about gods and whatnot, and it's kind of it kind of muddles everything for me. It muddled everything for me. It could, kind of took away from the presentation of the film as a whole. If this was have been a, a straight revenge movie, I would have liked it a lot. Because in this whole movie, if you like fighting, sword fighting, beating people up, you couldn't go five minutes without a fight in this movie. I literally do not think there was one part of this film that had less than that went longer than five minutes without a fight. It, um, it was jam packed full of action. Um, so I definitely liked that. I liked Jason Momoa, but the story was all muddled just because of this whole God thing. It was it was like they were trying to build plot with with some extra stuff that didn't really need to be there. So would I recommend this movie to you guys? I say go watch it. If you're interested in action movies, pure action movies, and you want to see somebody get you know sliced up with a sword, you want to see somebody get their teeth knocked out, you know, you, you're into that stuff, go rent this movie. Don't buy it, go rent this movie. But um, if that's not your, you know, your slice of pie, then don't, don't worry about this movie. Let it pass, and then hopefully um, something else will come along with Jason Momoa in it, with him kicking ass, and you guys can check that one out. Um, so anyway, that's movie time for this week guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Click your like, share, subscribe buttons. Let me know. Give me some ideas of what you guys think I should do for the upcoming weeks. And let's start this conversation off right. We'll see you next week.